The FBI and the Des Moines Police arrested 13 people on Wednesday in connection with the violent Central Iowa street gang C Block. Two other suspects are still at large. Federal agents held a press conference late this afternoon to update the public. We have team coverage of the still developing story. Hannah Hilliard and Max Deeknight are live at the federal building tonight with those new details. Well, Cynthia and Steve, federal authorities have officially made 13 arrests related to drug dealing and violent crimes here in Des Moines. Now included in the 13 suspected C-Block gang members arrested are the gang's three suspected leaders. They are Dayron Merritt, his twin brother Marshawn Merritt, and Barry Adair Jr. Now just hours ago, we learned of the num numerous charges these 13 men are facing tonight. They include conspiracy to distribute cocaine, attempted armed robbery, and possession of firearms, as well as a felon possessing firearms. Police executed 12 search warrants Wednesday morning across Des Moines. You're watching doorbell video from one of those raids on Southeast 25th Street and East Porter Avenue. Now the 75 page report was released and we brought you those details yesterday on KCCI 8 News at 5 o'clock. The Central Iowa Gang Task Force led this investigation. Listen now as Assistant U.S. Attorney Mark Crickbaum announces this major news. We are here today to announce that 15 defendants have been charged with drug and gun offenses in federal court. And that group of defendants includes the leaders of C Block, which is a violent criminal street gang. Now, five local departments were involved in this operation. KCCI's Hannah Hillier joins us now. And Hannah, C Block was operating all across the metro. Yeah, so investigators say that the C Block actually started in Cheatham Park neighborhood. That's where it originated. But those men were arrested yesterday all across the city, hitting several neighborhoods here in Des Moines. Take a look at this map. It shows where every arrest occurred yesterday morning. Most are in the center or toward the north side of town, but it hits the east and those south side neighborhoods too. Now, we spoke to neighbors in a couple of those areas yesterday and today. Because of the nature of this investigation, they say they are scared and not willing to go on camera. But those in the Cheatham Park area also say they are happy about these arrests or satisfied. Anything to make their streets safer. But community leaders say we should not be shocked. There are gangs in Des Moines, and yesterday's arrest is not the end of it. You're talking about several decades of fighting this and seeing it come back each time. You're talking about a reoccurrence that at some point we have to say enough is enough. Now, Representative Abdul Samad also says that this investigation was a success, but of course, this is not the end of it. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you what more work needs to be, got, be done. But for now, reporting live for, for Max Deekdye, I'm Hannah Hilliard, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.